What we have here is the Caracal CS308. This is our bolt rifle. It's a single piece receiver milled from a solid block of 7075 aluminum. Three locking lugs, 60 degree bolt. Fully adjustable trigger, it's two stages. You can tune out the first stage altogether to make it a single stage trigger, or you can adjust the length of pull on the first stage, adjust the weight on the second. It's fully adjustable. There is a removable buttstock, which is also fully adjustable. On the opposite side here, we just have quarter turn adjustments. With just a simple quarter turn, it's going to place the comb into a spring mode. Wherever I find myself comfortable behind the rifle, I simply get comfortable and lock it back into place and it's solid at that point. Here on the body of the rifle, we have mounted the Wilcox Raptor. This is a weapons mounted laser rangefinder, IR flood, IR laser, as well as visible laser. On the opposite side over there, we have the remote switch which allows me to operate that laser from behind the rifle in my firing position. This rifle has a 26 inch barrel. Barrels are turned in house in our factory in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. It's a 1 in 12 twist. Uh, this is a 26 inch barrel with a 1 in 12 twist. We also offer it with a 1 in 10 as well as a 1 in 11.25. The muzzle brakes are our proprietary design designed for this rifle. They sincerely negate the effects of recoil, allowing the shooter to spot his own impacts, which is very important for a precision shooter. Mounted on top is the US Optics LR17. Fantastic glass, it mates up very well to this rifle. And this is the rifle that I use uh, in competition in uh, the US market. I look forward to hopefully bringing this to the US market at some point, but as it stands right now, these rifles were designed for a military procurement request in the GCC region. All production of these rifles is going to uh, supply those contracts. Should there be any overrun or should we have surplus, we will look at bringing these to the U.S. market. But as it stands now, they're all accounted for with military contracts in the GCC. Uh, the rifle is guaranteed half minute of angle. It's certainly a quarter minute rifle and we've shot some groups that are just ridiculously small with factory ammo. It's, a, it's an excellent shooting rifle. Today we're running the Nosler 155 grain match ammo and we've been pushing it out to about 950 yards with no problems whatsoever, hitting half Ipsix. Uh, so I'm very happy with the accuracy of not only the ammo but the rifle as well. well can I put some shots through it? Yes. Um, we're we're going to use this. Okay. This is going to tell you exactly how far it is. Okay. And I'm going to tell you what to put on the scope and you're going to shoot it. Okay. So just pick one. Maybe like way out there, the white ones out there. Over the berm here? Over, over the, the berm. berm. Let's see if I can see those. Yeah, I can see them. Is it, make sure this is on zero. Is it, is it the zero on the hash mark? Uh, okay. All right, there you go. Now find the target you want to shoot. Okay, I'm on it. All right, press this button right here. Front button. Right there. That one there? I okay. want my fingers on. Okay. Yeah. You know, like at first blast. And it has the Alright, that target is 877 yards. Okay. We're gonna put 7.5 on here. We'll turn this counterclockwise to 7.5. Right about there. There's the hash mark right there. Yep, 7.5. Okay. Alright. Make sure you got an angle. Yep. Okay. Right. Safety is off. Bolts closed. You got a little bit of a left to right wind. So it's kind of just off the left edge is where I want the reticle. How are you? I can power you up a little bit if you'd like. That'll do. Oh, that was uh, just off the right, a little further left. I did not see any dirt. I'm guessing I hit it. Sure you did. Those big plates don't splash very well. But if you're not seeing dirt, you're on it. I think I got it that time as well. One more. Yep. Nice. Good, good. Excellent. We're out. Well, that
That is spot on. Not hard to hit at all. Nope. Yeah. And that feels real nice. Really I mean, it's extremely happy. solid. I love what you said about the cone here. Yeah. Being able to adjust that as fast as you can. Yep. That's um, that's one of those features as I'm trying to dial in my rifles. It's one of those things that I spend the most time on and kind of get the most frustration from is the weld. Well. Yep. So being able to dial that in that quickly, that's awesome. Yeah. That is very cool. Any other last thoughts on the gun or the company? Uh, yeah, sure. We are in the process of setting up a standalone Caracal USA operation to be able to support this market with direct factory support without working through third parties. Uh, that'll be happening in the next three to nine months uh, while that process is being set up. Once that is completely in operation and we are able to fully support this U.S. market, we'll start importing the product. You'll start seeing us in the market, in the advertising, and we look, we look forward very much to supporting this market with the support that it needs and it hasn't gotten to this point. All right. Thank you very much yeah. for this little tour of your products. It's been a lot of fun. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah.